All right, I want to I want to make sure my uh my audio is working for our talking. Um, I'm using a microphone. I have it. I've never been, went live on this channel before. Um, so bear with me uh, before I uh, start this thing on up. You know, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people on YouTube is not talking about this shit whatsoever as far as what I feel like needs to be said. I feel like a lot of people on YouTube is is really, in general, just uh, wasting a bunch of time talking about bu- talking about a bunch of bullshit just for the just for viewership purposes. And I, I really feel like a lot of stuff that's being said online is, is highly disrespectful. Um. Let me see this right here. Uh, okay, yeah, there go, my audio is working perfectly. I don't know how long this live is going to be. Um, and then I also, from what I've seen, that uh, like a lot of the uh, more um, popular YouTubers, they're not really in the music industry. So, you know, a lot of shit that they have to say doesn't even really fucking matter. And it's really fucking irritating and it's really disrespectful. Uh, for a lot of people to be saying what they're saying online, blaming Quavo um, for, for 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 no fucking reason at all. It's, it's just highly very fucking disrespectful, um, in my opinion. Now, um, if you haven't been on my channel before, my name is Composure. You know, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the music industry, been in the industry for over 20 years, man. Longer than that. Did a lot of stuff behind the scenes. You can even check out my YouTube um, and you can see a lot of footage from me on, on various tours, on stage, behind uh, behind the scenes, uh, backstage, all kind of stuff. And I haven't been putting up content in a while, but I really feel like I need to put this out there. I really ultimately just feel like the Migos was betrayed. You know, no matter what, if it's just like this: if you have children and you have you let your children go spend a night at somebody's house, and something happens to them. The parents are highly responsible for whatever whatever happens to your child, no matter fucking what went on. And for them to be invited out there into Houston, um, and they came out of complete love and respect for the people that they went out there with. They didn't charge them. They they went out there out of love and, and, and generosity and just wanted to have a good time with people that they thought they were friends. And I feel I just feel like that because they had such a good heart, they they were just betrayed by people that didn't really have their best interests in life. You know, no matter what, it's like that Judas thing. You know, you you, you know you have affiliations with people, and you you know you know spent time with them and all that kind of shit. But you know, a lot of people out here be plotting and. I, you know, when you are in a certain position in life, like like the Migos, you know, you got to you got to really understand and honor your, your position because people out here really will t- really want your position and they don't really care about what they would do to, to get it or what, what it would take to have it. You know, and it's been a, it's been a, um, a, a big contra- big big controversy surrounding the individuals um that they went out there um to hang out with and ultimately as we can see how the events unfolded that they were vastly unprotected no protection whatsoever went out there had their guard down significantly lower than how would they would normally move around and it, and it's just highly unfortunate i'm seeing people Blaming Quavo, talking about oh why he got into an argument, and, and and it's his fault for being you know talking back. It's like what the fuck? Like every human on this planet has the right to defend themselves, especially if somebody is disrespecting you or saying some things. Like no one is above out here being checked, irregardless of your position in life, and. That's highly disrespectful to say, well, if Quavo didn't say whatever he said to it, certain individuals it, 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 that was shown in the video, it would have never happened. Like, you cannot say that. 
you cannot absolutely say that at all whatsoever. And it's highly disrespectful because his own family member lost his life. And, and, and then I've seen people talking about, oh, why did he leave takeoff? When gunshots, like, he didn't leave nobody. When gunshots start start popping off, it's almost, I don't want to say every man, it's almost like every man for himself. You got to, you got to, you got to duck, run, hide. You know, I'm seeing all kinds of shit. Oh, well, if it was if somebody got shot, oh, we're gonna we're gonna shoot everybody, we're gonna do this, that, and the third. This is like a whole bunch of nonsense online. It's just like people just are saying anything online, and it's it's it's, it's like it's very unfortunate that you know um that we got these kind of people out here that 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 think this oh this all this fucking shit. Like I'm and then then they want to drop all this conspiracy type shit, they want to Oh, did you see their last video, the messy video? Look at the they every like people constantly want to point finger. I, I want to just say people, niggas are constantly wanting to point fingers at everything else but themselves. That's the problem that we have as a people right now. A high majority of us c constantly keep point trying to look in, to blame other things, other people, or or, or whatever. Just to take off the, the blame off off of themselves, you dig the and a lot of you people that's talking about the symbology and what was going on in certain music videos and shit. You people have no idea what you're talking about when it comes to occult information and spirituality. People want to throw Illuminati and all this old other shit out there, but they have no idea about secret societies who's a part of it and where that shit come from because if you truly know there are no melanated group of people behind any of that type of conspiracy or uh illuminati or secret society type of shit what you have out here is a bunch of niggas who are trying to bully themselves in the industry and uh motherfucking extort people for no fucking reason at all. Everybody is talking about all oh, this Joe check in shit down there. You don't see, you don't hear or see them niggas going to the country music artists talking about they got to comply to they they how whatever to be able to function out there. Doesn't happen. What you have is a bunch of people who don't care about nobody else but themselves within a particular group and 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 section of the industry. Who are trying to take advantage of people, and at the same time, you have people, part of people's entourages, who don't really care about nothing else but themselves, and will take advantage of you full throttle. And so, when you're moving out here, you gotta move. <laughs> you gotta move a certain kind of way. You cannot move like a regular person. It's like how in the fuck they should not have been interacting with just a bunch of regular ass people that's not really in the in industry and the people that they went out there with that's from that town left them severely unprotected and those people that they was with should have stepped in immediately to remove them from that situation to calm down t tension and to make sure that no matter where they go, to and from, I don't give a fuck if it's to the bathroom. I don't give a fuck if it's to the fucking somewhere to get some food. You got to protect your people that you say you love at all costs. And it, it, it just shows you that you got older niggas taking advantage of younger niggas of, of their friend, of, of their, of, out of the good, you know, they young niggas that got a good heart is just, getting bl blindly taken advantage of one way or another. And it's fucked up. Motherfuckers think that th they're friends with people and then ultimately, and that's how they get you. But that's how a lot of setups come from people that you know, that you feel like you're tight and close with. And, you know, they already say it's a, um, uh, it's, it's friction between younger generations and older generations. But after this situation, Mother, young niggas are never going to to trust older niggas ever again, rather if it's in the industry or not, because Migos was a very, very, very highly important and uh, people out here in the music industry. 
In my opinion, the Migos was the best fucking rap group in history, man. They really was. They really was, man. And I, it's just, it, it's just, it. I feel so, I feel, I feel so bad for for Quavo and his entire family and his friends and other people that was around or with them in the, uh, that's tied to their camp. Um, for what they, what they, what they're going through and what they saw. At, uh, uh, from the events of that night, I, like I'm, I'm truly bothered by this entire situation. I'm bothered by the death. I'm I, the the graphic video. I, I can't get that shit out of my fucking head. I can't get none of it out of my head, and it bothers the fuck out of me, bro. Like it really fucking bothers me seeing that. It, it I cannot even fucking imagine how Quavo. Wow! Just I, I just he saw he saw his own family right there in front of him in that in that in that situation, and people are judging him for how he reacted for every little thing that he may have said or done during that. And it's just like I really fucking hate the high amount of disrespect and disregard for. S- someone who saw their own family member lose their life in front of them and seeing everything right there in real time, he will never be the same for the rest of his fucking entire life. And I I, I will always pray for Quavo and his team and his family, and I know how people in the South, me being from California, I know how people in the South, especially my melanated people, they are so big on family. So I know that whole entire region of the South are severely going through it, severely, you know, I just hope people, man, they don't take their life for granted out here. If you in the music industry, you got to always roll with a serious professional team, especially if you at a very high level like them with top-notch security like you, the fucking president of the United States at all times. You got to, especially you got to make it, and 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 like very like impossibly difficult for people to, you know, uh, get in contact with you, unless authorized and approved. Like every interaction has to be authorized and approved by your team and staff before, and even then. You still got to keep a watchful eye, especially if you don't know certain individuals. And it's, it, 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 this right here changes the whole entire scope of the music industry when it comes to uh, industry events, concerts, um, meet and greets, and, 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 and just, you know, uh, uh, rather it's club appearances, walkthroughs. It changes everything. And then it's, this is going to severely impact um, people in the industry. Um, networking opportunities when it comes to wanting to um, collaborate or um, expand their business with other brands and other groups and other people within the music industry, because people are going to be so severely un they're not going to trust no fucking body. There, no one's going to be able to be trusting trusting of anybody, and I understand why. And it's just like it's just like damn. I don't know. I, I, it's I, I, it's it's not like a situation where I, I where I feel like I have to just say hella words for hella hours on end. I just in my heart, seeing that situation, I just feel like they was betrayed. They was betrayed. I don't give a fuck. No matter fucking what, they was betrayed, and they was left unprotected. And you and 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 and, 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 and at a time of when they was really needed. Very few people helped them at all, and they were severely outnumbered. 
and they walked into it. They didn't even know what they was walking themselves into. That's the fucked up thing about it. They didn't know what they was walking themselves into, surrounded by a whole bunch of people that they didn't know that was just some grimy fucking niggas. And they got taken advantage of. And it's just a fucking tragedy. Um, I've always loved the Migos. I've always loved the Migos. I've all, it's just like, and Takeoff was my favorite. It's like, and people even often used to tell me that I kind of look, look like Takeoff in a way. And it's just fucked up that I will never get a chance to ever meet that man in my life. And what's crazy is something I didn't know is that he is also a Gemini like me. And then he is also, and he also has the same exact birthday as my little sister on June 18th. Like, wow, this is no wonder why, you know, I gravitated to him so much. And this is like, people want to talk about all the sacrifice shit. Like, y'all really need to shut the fuck up with that shit. Y'all don't have no understanding about the occult. And, and and none of that. And when you talking about the cult, you talking about our ancient fucking sciences as a people. So all that oh, the fucking messy video. It was a fucking haunted house because it was based around the theme of Halloween. Stop looking for other bullshit to try to fit a fucking narrative that is untrue. Like I'm so I'm so fucking. Why does every when something happens tragically? Why does everything have to be a conspiracy or a sacrifice? Now it's a conspiracy when it comes to motherfuckers wanting to plot on individuals for their own fucked up reason. Was and when it comes to portrayal, and we've seen these situations unfold recently in that same city and state where a couple other people of high notoriety tragically lost their life as well. I just. Um, be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of the company you keep. And be aware of everything at all, at all times. Um, you know, they say takeoff wasn't drinking the whole night, allegedly. And if that's true, I could understand and see why, because it's a, it's a high possibility. Then they say he wasn't talking to nobody. He was he was to himself. Because he probably was trying to stay full alert of the activities of what's going on and who's around them, especially when you're around strangers. And the number one way people try to get you slipping is when you're high and when you're intoxicated. So somebody has to be sober and full alert to pay attention to fully what's going on, especially when you're around a bunch of strangers, regardless of if you know some of the people, because, you know, you never know what a person's true intentions really is in life. And, and, and you know what? Another thing, one of the biggest problems I have with, with people with these platforms is instead of using their platforms and, uh, and um, for good, they want to spend hours on end on talking about a bunch of bullshit theories and all that kind of shit instead of using this platform or other platforms when they have a huge audience to use it at, 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 uh, for opportunity to give people the advice and the, to give people advice and lessons they need to learn in life in order to keep them safe out here when they're moving around in life so they can protect their life and freedom. But instead, people want to have debates. People want to talk about various theories. People want to jeopardize other people's life and freedom. I've heard people say, Oh, get on camera, show your face, and outright blame um, mob ties for what they have done. I'm like, how are you going to jeopardize fucking regular people's fucking life and livelihood and, and, and say some shit that could possibly get them hurt if they putting out false information, especially? Like, no one knows truly how things went on, but yet... You have a lot of YouTubers trying to put a lot of people's life at stake. This is a like 
YouTubers, like people on YouTube have changed. It, this shit has dramatically changed the psych- psychological of uh, a lot of people who's on this platform that's going to get a lot of these YouTubers killed, bro. Like they are saying some highly disrespectful shit. And one thing about life, especially if you're trying to do shit within an industry, at some point in time, you're going to have to cross paths with people and you're going to have to live up to and stand up on everything you said about certain people in life. I'm not here to blame no one in particular, but from what I saw, it looks like betrayal. And even if it was some kind of freak accident, they sh- at at the very least they they're in, they're invited. Ho- their hosts who invited them should have been there with them every step of the way. So no, so no matter what, the blood is on the hands of the people who invited them out there in the first place. No matter what because their number one job was to protect them no matter what this is not about a gang this is not about a mafia this is not about some kind of organized type of syndicate type of shit this is about fucking protecting your loved ones your friends especially colleagues within the same field of work that you're in which is the music industry these are very high profile artists who are substantially high within the industry. They are supposed to be looked after and protected no matter what and cater to until the moment they arrive, until the moment they leave and they were unprotected and left to themselves and left, you know, to hang and dry. And we see that. So, you know, you know, betrayal is real. And, you know, I just I just don't know what the fuck is going to happen at this point with the, when it comes to the music industry. You know, a while back, I decided to leave the industry. And I recently and I recently just, uh, you know, I started doing something that I've always wanted to do, which was always a passion of mine, um, which was to become a DJ. And it's like right now at this point, I like I, I'm like fucking. I don't fucking know, right? I'm like so fucking bothered by this. I just, I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I'm just sorry for for the events that took place. Um, you know, it's been very fucking rough for me. Hey, Quavo, man, I love you, man. Migos, the whole entire Migo camp. Um, from the, from the DJ to the ANRs to the management to the assistants, um, to to the to everybody that. It, it, and, and, to, and to all of um, the South, Georgia, Atlanta, that whole region, you know, I, uh, man, I, I feel so I, like, man, I feel so sorry for y'all. Um, we got to do better as a people, but we also got to make sure that we protect our loved ones even more. And um, I can't even imagine what y'all families is going through. Um. So for like at this point, I just feel like people that's in the music industry, uh, y'all got to continue to move as a unit, well protected, and uh, uh, and watch and watch ourselves out here because it's it's just uh, shit is just shit is just shit is real out here. It's really real, man, and um. You know, I'm not trying to be a super popular type of person on YouTube. I I just wanted to uh, share some some things just to say what I had to say, man. I I just feel like you know they was betrayed and taken fucking advantage of. It's fucked up, and I'm uh, and I hate to hear and see so much fucking disrespect come from people on YouTube, and um. If I ever get a chance to meet some of y'all people affiliated with with the Migos, hey man, I, I, w- I would love to have the opportunity to to work and share some great value um, with you guys um, um, when it comes to my skills as well as my advice in life. And you know, I'm from I'm from Filmo, San Francisco, so. I know 
that a lot of people from my hood are very were, were very instrumental on the Migos career. Like JT the bigger figure and a few others. It's, it, it, it's, and Zaytoven, and because he's from Filmo as well. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all love, man, with me, for real. Um, man, man, stay strong. I'm so sorry this fucking happened. It's fucking me up as well. Now, though, I, you know, although I never knew y'all, never, never met y'all. And, um, it's just fucked up. And, um. Now, I've done some things with Bone Thugs and Harmony in the past, and I know y'all kind of it was some kind of friction there, uh, but I don't have nothing to do with that shit, you know. Um, but you know, I'm just um, I'm just sad about this shit, man. It's fucked up. I wish everybody the best, man. I'm out.